Hey everybody, I have had a couple of questions about how to work with the new Cengage programming exercises. This is a relatively new process integrating with GitHub code spaces. So I'm gonna walk you through a couple of these. So to start, you'll click on programming exercise. This will open another window. And Cengage warns you that you need to have pop-ups disabled and the way you do that will be different in different browsers. But they have a little link here you can click on that tells you how to adjust your browser settings. You'll know you need to do that if you click Start Assignment Now and you see this window, but then don't see this window. So if the only window you see open up is that one with the big text, that means your pop-up settings, your browser settings are incorrect and you'll need to go to this link. And if you go here, it'll tell you first to pick your region, wherever you are in the world, and then it has specific settings you need for each type of browser and how to set that up, okay? Now, if you can see this window pop up eventually, then what you'll have to do is just wait until it loads everything. There are three parts for it to load, the main window itself, the code that you just saw pop up there, and then you will see on the right side of the screen eventually a companion area open up. When the companion area opens up, it will give you this warning and says, hey, you're about to be shown information from somebody's code space. You are okay with that. So you just click continue. Now, the first time you run this, you may see one other prompt asking for access to your GitHub account. You will need to authorize that as well. All right, so when this runs in this first exercise, it tells you how to use the code editor and it tells you that there are a couple of different parts to it. And I'm going to walk you through that. Let me just make this window a little bigger so we can see the whole thing. But basically, you are given a problem and you will solve the problem over here. And every time you think you have the problem solved, you can run the code to look at it. And that'll run that down there. So if I run this, you'll see it's compiling the code, da, 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 da. And then it takes a minute. Doot, 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 doot. And eventually, you'll see the output. Now, the next time you run the code, it takes considerably less time, but still a bit of time. Now, one thing you can do instead of doing that is you can click this button over here, run code and it'll do the same thing. Now again, this is kind of a slow process, but the end result is that you will, below all this text, you'll see your output. Okay. So what we're trying to do is make your output match the output that's expected here. So write, compile a test of program named personal info that displays a person's name, birth date, phone number, and cell phone on separate lines. Follow the format in the example below. Okay. Now, the way you can tell if you are doing this correctly, is you can click the calculate grade button at any time. And what that will do is it will run your program and compare its output to what it expects it to be. So if I run that, it will run the code internally, compare it to what it thinks the output should be. Dun, 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 dun. And it tells me that I got a 25%. And it says you failed task one. If I expand this arrow, It'll say, okay, there are a bunch of different checks. I passed the first one. It did, in fact, have right line in my code. However, it was not able to find the information for the cell phone numbers or the dates, etc. I am printing a name, but not the cell phone number, work phone number, and date. So we're going to change that. Okay, so I'm gonna change this to match what they are asking for there. So we have Lucinda Potter. And then I'm going to output the date that they specify, June 24th, 1992. And then I'm going to say the work number is 0005550101. And then the cell number is 0005550189. So 
So once I have all that and I think it's good, I'm gonna test it. And again, I can test it by clicking this run code button or by clicking this run button. Either one does the same thing. So I'm just gonna click this big blue button here and it's going to recompile that, rerun it, prints out all this stuff. And that looks like what I want. So I'm gonna click calculate grade to see if it is in fact what I want. And it's going to run the code internally and look at its output and compare it to the example. And I'm just gonna compress that so that I can see this whole thing. As long as that is spinning, it is still thinking. Think, little computer, think. All right, it looks like I got everything right. Green check mark, my grade's 100%. If something was wrong, I can go in here and look for which one of these failed. So for example, if I were to write my date like this instead, and I were to rerun that, and it recompiles the code and thinks about it really hard, still thinking, oh, there we go. 75%. Now, red X, look in here, that one passed, that one passed, failed. And it says you did not find code that prints out the date in the right format, which is no surprise because that's what we changed. So I'm gonna put this back. Now, in real life, I strongly suggest that you always recalculate your grade after any change you make here, even if you are pretty sure that it's okay. Even though it takes a few seconds, once you submit this, it is submitted. So let's make sure that our grade jumps back to 100% before I submit. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, we're at 100%, that looks good. So I'm gonna click Submit. And then it's gonna calculate my final grade with a very misleading progress bar up here because we've got this little spinny one telling us the truth. Oh, and the progress bar is actually moving backwards. That's unfortunate. So spin, 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 counting down, or just confused. It's difficult to know. But either way, we will eventually see that disappear. So how will I know if that is working and if that is done? I can jump back over to Blackboard, look at my grades, and if I see a grade over here, mine won't show up because I'm a teacher, uh, then if it says five out of five, then I know all is well. So all of these Cengage assignments work the same way. The programming exercise and debugging exercises, all of them will open that same set of windows. You'll ex do the exercise in the GitHub code space. You'll calculate your grade, make sure it works, and then click submit. Okay. The only code you'll submit to Blackboard will be for the weekly assignments, which are always in PDF form. If you have any questions, just reach out and let me know.